It's Monday, July 15th. My name is Rich, and this is your 5-Minute Fix. Welcome to the 5-Minute Fix, where we take stories about pretty much anything from pretty much anywhere and try to give it to you in 5 minutes or less today. Uh, with this story today, I think this guy not only dodged a bullet, but probably, well, not probably, did save himself a little bit of dough. Seems like dating can be wild these days. And I just say wild because you never know what lengths some people will go to for a free meal, not only for themselves, but for their friends or even their kids. Man dining dashes on his hinge date after she brings a friend and starts ordering drinks. Now, the way this one played out, he was expecting it to be casual. The two of them just having lunch before right before he got there she asked him oh is it cool if my friend sits in and you know what's he gonna do he ordered a simple meal and was nearly scammed out of pocket dining and dashing is never acceptable unless you're this man who realized his date was pulling a fast one with the bill this guy knew he was being taken for a fool and wasn't about to play along with the game after deciding to meet up with a hinge match it all began when the tiktoker called johnny america decided to see how things go with a woman from the dating app only to find out nearly too late what her plan was instead of turning up up on her own, which is the usual dating etiquette, she instead brought a friend who began ordering surf and turf and drinks at the Hibachi Eatery. <laughs> what the hell? So, uh, you know, it's been a while since I've been on a date. I don't know what I would have done. What, like, like, what you mean this woman ordering a bunch of drinks all on one bill? Are you crazy? Surf and turf. What the hell you think this is? Before being stunned by the additional person, he explained that he agreed to meet for lunch as their first date, and he had believed this would be something casual. Instead of a casual lunch, she asked if they could go to Hibachi. When Johnny was busy talking to his date, her friend then began ordering a bunch of drinks and food. At the time, he didn't want to be rude, so he didn't say anything about the orders, but it was when the chef came and asked what he wanted to eat that he realized what was going on. Yo, this has all the makings and markings of a scam. Whether it be little or big, no scam is good. You don't want to be a part of them. You don't want to be victimized by them. And this seems 110% like a scam. And I bet you, they probably get up to this kind of thing all the time. For sure, this is not the first. Johnny ordered himself a simple chicken and rice, whereas the woman decided to splash out on a surf and turf meal. Even though he pretended to act normal, he shared that he knew what was going on. That's when he decided to ditch them when the chef asked if they wanted to split the bill, and they responded they wanted all in one. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at what this guy thinks about this whole situation. Let's hear it from his, uh, his eyes. I dined and dashed on a hinge date, and let me tell you why. Well, on this hinge date, I hit this girl up and I was like, hey, you want to meet up, grab lunch? So on a first date with someone online, I'm thinking something casual, right? Maybe like Hell sushi, yeah. Panera, salad. Some As you would. You're never going to go on a first date. At least I would never go on first date and be thinking you're going to take someone out real pricey or whatever. Something real uppity. You want things to be casual, light, you know, nice and chill. What if you don't like this person? What if they're a psycho? What if they bring their friend? That's what I'm talking about. Something easy, something, nothing crazy, right? This woman comes back with, I want hibachi. Like, <laughs> hibachi? And she's like, yeah, I want hibachi. So I go... Oh, okay, I guess. So I get there with, <laughs> to meet this girl for hibachi, and she brings a friend with her. And she goes, hey, Wild. would it be cool if my friend just jumps in with us, hangs out? And I'm like, uh, I guess. And yeah. she's already here. What do I tell her? Go away? Yeah, 100%. So we sit down. We start kind of hanging out, talking, getting to know each other, stuff like that. Both of these women start ordering a bunch of drinks. And I'm like, okay. And then they start ordering appetizers. And uh, the, the guy, the cook, he goes, what do you want? And I go, I would like just chicken and rice. Easy. I'm a simple man. 100%. The girls go, we want surf and turf. I go, you want surf and turf? <laughs> I go, yeah, yeah, surf and turf. And I'm like, okay. In my mind, I'm like, all right. These girls think I'm stupid. I'm not. So we hang out, have fun, do our thing. And I'm just kind of enjoying the moment. But I know what the heck's going on. I know what's going on. So time goes by and we're ready to pay the tab and the cook guy goes, all right, how are we splitting up the bill today? The girl goes, all on one. Oh, just speaks up right away. So I'm like, what <laughs> the hell did this girl say? In my mind, I'm like, what the heck? So I tell her, hey, do me a favor. Will you just box up my food real quick and I'm going to go to the restroom? She goes, yeah, yeah, no problem. Guess where I went? Hell yeah. I didn't go to the restroom. Hell no. I went in my car and I went home. Straight up. You think, you think I'm stupid? I'm not. 
you paid my bill thanks i ain't gonna lie i think that's the right thing to do in that situation how you gonna try and come out here and scam a man tell him you want to go to hibachi bring your friend i know exactly like he did what you were trying to do and you deserved every last bit of that dine and dash all right he's got another little video here and it's titled do i feel bad people keep asking me do i feel bad for dining and dashing on these girls and overall the answer is no these two girls are certified con artists hell Imagine yeah how many other dummies hell yeah these girls pulled on exactly and i was just the only one that was kind of smart enough to to just leave and get away so uh -huh. i i don't feel bad i don't i don't and like i said i even said the same thing i think this guy or i think these girls they do this all the time and a lot of dudes probably aren't as self-aware or to realize what's going on what they're doing so honestly where i stand good for him you know not getting scammed teaching these girls a lesson i hope they had to wash some dishes in the back or something because they didn't have any money but i want to know what you think down in the comments below thank you for watching my name is rich and this has been your five minute fix